in this video, I want to go over some very simple examples of differentiation. Now, these questions have been taken from NCA or NZQA exams uh, that is conducted in New Zealand from 2011 exam paper. So, first question is differentiate. So, this is A and let me call this B. So, differentiate y is equal to tan squared x and you don't, don't need to simplify. Okay, so let me write this. So, this is y is equal to tan squared x is same as writing tan x the whole squared. Okay, so here when you're differentiating a function, okay, so here you have to, this is the, I call this the inside function and this is the outside function. So, divide by dx using the chain rule. You differentiate the inside first, so differentiation of tan x. I hope no, I hope you know is tan squared x. So this is differentiating inside. It is tan squared x. So differentiation of this is tan squared x. And then outside, you outside you treat it as a polynomial. So this is two times tan x, two times tan x, and that's your answer. So this is to write in a slightly simplified form. So this is two times tan x times 6 squared x, 2 times 6 squared x, and this is the answer. Okay, for this, I'm going to write uh, y is equal to natural log of 3x to the power of 4. So the inside, this is the inside function, so I have to differentiate the inside first, so divide by dx, the differentiation of 3x to the power of 4 is 12x cubed times the differentiation of outside, then that means natural log of x is 1 over x, so this is 1 over 3x to the power of 4. So you can leave this as the answer, so I'll slightly simplify this, so this is 12x cubed over 3x to the power of 4. So this can be simplified as 4 over x. Okay, I hope you understand this. This is simple algebraic manipulation. Let's look at this. So here you've got a numerator and a denominator. So we're going to use the uh, quotient rule. So the quotient rule is like this. If f over g dash, it is f dash times g minus f times g dash over g squared. So this is the quotient rule. So Using the quotient rule, I can say dy by dx, your f is your numerator, so this is your f of x, or this is your f, and this is your g. So the formula says you have to differentiate f, so differentiation of 6x six, six is 6, times g, which is 1 plus x squared, the whole squared, minus f, which is 6x, six, six, times g dash. So for g dash, for g, you have to again use the composite or chain rule. First, you differentiate the inside, which is 1 plus x squared. So differentiating the inside, you get 2x and then the outside. So which is uh, 2 times, 2 times 1 plus x squared over the denominator squared. So if you square the denominator, you can get 1 plus. If you square, oops, if you square the denominator, let me use a small eraser. This will be 1 plus x, x squared, the whole to the power. Oops, this is, this would become, let me write like this, 1 plus x squared, the whole squared, the whole raised to 4 whole raised to 2, sorry. So this will become to the power of 4. So let me simplify this slightly. So this is 6 times 1 plus x squared, the whole squared, minus this is 6 times 2 is 12, times 2 is 24. So this is 24x squared times, am I right? Yeah. Plus, sorry, times 1 plus x squared, the whole over 1 plus x squared, the whole raised to 4. So this is the gradient function. Okay, let's look at this this question. So this is a, a implicit function. So we have to use 
uh, implicit differentiation. So yeah, so I'm going to use the operator. So d by dx of a squared x plus d by dx of b y squared is equal to d by dx of zero. So I'm using simply, I'm applying the operator to each of the term. Now a and b are constants. Okay, so the variable is only x. So d by dx of a squared x would be a squared. Now here you want to differentiate this y, y squared in terms of x, which is not possible. So I'm going to do a technique here. So I'm going to say, well, that is same as d by dx of b y squared times dy by dx. I wanted to just pause the video and understand what I did. So what I did was, can you see this is dy and this is dy gets cancelled. So basically this and this are the same. This, this is d by dx of this. So this and this are the same. So what I've done is, I want to differentiate by, I can differentiate by squared with respect to y. So I, I have to have the operator d by dy to differentiate by squared. Okay, to have the operator d by dy, which I have created, I'm timesing it by dy by dx so that this and this becomes the same, which is equal to the what's the change in zero with respect to x, so there's no change. So gradient of zero is zero. Okay, so this becomes a squared plus, now you can differentiate this with respect to y, so this is 2by times dy by dx is equal to zero. Okay, so now you have to just make dy by dx a subject. So I can write 2by times dy by dx is equal to minus a squared. So now you have to divide both sides by 2by. So I can say dy by dx is equal to minus a squared over 2by. And this is your answer, the gradient of this function. The next video, I want to do this question where you have to use the first principle or the definition of derivative to prove the derivative, derivative of this function, which is 5 minus 3x squared.